this is JJ Studio. Thank you for stopping in. We got another wonderful video for you. Here we go. Sit back and relax and enjoy. Another JJ Studio video. This video is pretty much about the main park of OSU, Lake Carl Blackwell, here in Stillwater, West Highway 51. Here we go. Hey guys. Um, we're gonna, today we're gonna go to Lake Carl Blackwell. And, um, you see what's 2023 looking like out there. We're gonna do a fast drive too. Um, right now we're on campus of OSU. Um, if you don't, if you're not aware that uh, OSU owns Lake Paul Blackwell, it's ran by Lake Paul, uh, OSU. I mean. I believe it's there a bit, yeah. It's 10 o'clock in the uh, month of March of I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pause this video. It takes about eight minutes, about eight miles from here. To, uh, to get to like like uh like call black room. Okay, Lake Call Blackwell is about eight miles on Cliff 51 Highway 51 on 6th Street. Uh, you pass up all the car dealership, all that. Uh, okay, guys, uh, we put my um, almost there. Um, we just passed that. Um, <laughs> One of the camping areas for like uh, trailers and campers. We probably go back that way, in a, you know, after we look at the main part of the park. You can't miss this, it's uh, pretty much West 6, so West 51, uh, about 8 miles out of, uh, from OSU campus, and you can't you know, miss it, the big sign and stuff. They used to have the ticket thing right here. Uh, 
I actually still is, yeah. This is the ticket area. Signs. Normally this place used to be full of wildlife, deer, uh, clean geese, armadillo, rabbits, all the good stuff guys. I just seen a bird. Okay, this is pretty much uh, dirt biking and, and stuff. And it has a little club for bass fishing. Right down, straight down this gravel road. Uh, this is the area for like dirt bikes and all that good stuff. Um, little ramps, dirt ramps and stuff. Kind of see it right here. So they have ramps, different things you can do. We're gonna go down this road a little bit um, and turn around. Just show y'all around a little bit. This, this, this road right here leads, like I said, to the bass uh, club area. You have to be in the club to fish. Uh, got camera, and they got like a lift gate. That's time I was down in. Uh, excuse me. This, this place is a pretty good area. Uh, got, like I said, it has ramps and a whole bunch of stuff you can do. Uh, has some dirt rip and stuff here, some eating area, fire pits. You put this, you can also put tents up here. You got camping areas uh, for tents, so if you want to camp out in a tent, you can come here, stay in here. This right here uh, pretty much it has a lot of nice trees. It has another area we're gonna show you right here next to this one. Um, it's beautiful out here. I recommend you come out here and camp out and fish. This area right here is mostly for uh, campers and traders. Uh, this is pretty much uh, yearly. If I would got this yearly. Beautiful out here. They even have one of those tiny houses. I sure like it. It's right here. If you can see it. Tiny house. I like the looks of that, so okay. People drop around with golf courts and stuff. Uh, I think the speed is like 10 or 15. I think 10 or 15 through here. Something like that. Um, nice. Okay, this week, no spots is available here. Oops, I... But they do come, you know, they come and go. Um, it has a little area right here. This, here's the dumpster for that uh, little trailer, kept, uh, trailer park thing. This dumpster where you can throw your own trash away. Right here is good fishing. Just want to, you know, bring that to your attention. Yeah, it's pretty good fishing here, right off of this bridge, or right here. The water's pretty low, according to that. Lake right now. 
over here to my right, coming up on is pretty much uh, one of the horses and stuff. In campus that has horses, it looks like a good horseback riding. No, no, this is not it. This is a different one. This is camp tent and camping area right here. Where we at right now? It's all tents. I know some of these places they change the name of it. Nightly. Can't get sight only, which is what this is. And it has a lot of spots available if you want to camp out this spring break. You got some more, you know, beautiful trees to my right. Parks office is this way. to the park office. This park office right here. Brand new. Brand new. It has the, uh, the Lake Paul Blackwood sign here. I paint, I help paint it. And this is the park office. Parking right here. I'll show you the sign on the way out. You better see it better. That's grounds maintenance and grip the grounds maintenance and dome maintenance. Right here is pretty much a, a parking spot for the park. This right here is where the horses and stuff is. That's metal. It's pretty much a uh, Horseback trails, nightly campsite only. It has a lot of beautiful um, uh, trader spots, camper spots. Um, it has two. Uh, what am I? Uh, what do you call those? In-ground boats. Pretty, pretty nice out here. Uh, I don't see no animals, no birds right now. Got some nice horses over here to my right. There's some more inbound bathrooms. There's one of the guys from maintenance. Maintenance guy. You got a tornado uh, siren right here to my right. Uh, so 
uh, during tornadoes, the best place to be is those uh, uh, in-ground toilets because that's all that's solid concrete. It's just dirty structure. Ahead and make a left here. This is more camp, camping, and more. You have Blackjack Grove, Deer Run, Beaver Grove, Sissy Tail, Lane, and Cedar Point. We, we probably go this way and around. No deer. No deer running around or nothing today. You can most of the time you have deer walking across the road over here. You must kill them all. I don't this is deer brand. It's mostly uh campers and traders. They have boat docks too. Get little docks off the water. Uh, they have monthly spot. They got weekly, I think monthly, overnight, and yearly. Um, pretty much camping. Uh, for, uh, campers and um, traders. Right here is no bathroom, uh, in ground bathrooms, anyways. Pretty much goes that way. I'm gonna turn back around. It goes back out to that main road that we uh, came off of. I should be. I should be. Uh, I should have had a camera pointing out the GPS on here. That's where you can see the map as I go. But I didn't think of that until just now. Go back this way. It bees off. I want to take it down, you know, the bee. But it's nothing. It's all campers out here. We got a dumpster right here. That we pass that. Look. Oh, if you want some free stuff, they have barbecue grills and pits all the time out here for free. People just throw them away. Might want to get one of those and be store it and stuff. That's what I should do. Talk to them and uh, I just had a thought. I don't know. Tell my plans. Back up where we um, to the road that we came in on, but they got a little play area for kids. And this road right here it leads to that one road uh, right here. Wall go, we was, wall go, we was right down there by that dumpster. Wall go. Um, that's pretty much their run. Beaver Grove. 
this is all chance. No, no, yeah, I think chance in campus. In here. Yeah, whatever. This, this is a big area. One of the big, one of the bigger uh, camping area. Uh, tent. This spot right here. It's for uh, camper. Not camper. That's tent. Now all of these spots has um, in ground fire pits and picnic tables, mostly. Um, it's, yeah, it's, right here is a good spot right here, I think. And right here is one you in, you one your in-ground boats, the toilets right here. One your in-ground toilets. Uh, no day use. Flight hours 10 p.m. to 7. You have to have a permit. You have to have the permit hanging from your mural. Two, maximum two vehicles per site. We'll camp only. Here to my left is the dumpster for the site. Look back where, where we just came from. A little bit. Right here, uh, pretty much where uh, we got a little uh, eating area there. You can rent one of these water and electric spots for tents, but you have to find a place that has grass and dirt. You don't want to put your tent on gravel. Trust me. You need some more, you know, trailer parking, electric water, and ground pit. Another area right here is campers. This is Sister Tail Lane. It's campers, pretty much nightly campsite, boat ramp. This is mostly like water and electric, camping traders, boat. I didn't see one from here. 
used to, I think it used to have a dumpster here, but oh. we're gonna turn around here. This right here is privately private. Um, people bought this one right here. I ran it. This this right here is um, part of the part that's like yearly. The, the, right here they have a um, private um, bunker, uh, tornado bunker uh, shelter thingy. Um, and then, but uh, it's not part you, not part why I use it. Just this fencing area. changed quite a bit in the last four years. I have previous videos. Here's the dumpsters right here. I guess that's for the whole area. Those combined. And the dumpster here to my left. You got a lot to look at. Only did probably about half of the part. And I plan to come back out, spend a weekend, and get some uh, wildlife videos. I don't see nothing today. No, no deer. I don't see. No, I don't even see geese out here anymore. You used to have a lot of geese, you used to have a lot of rabbits, you used to have a lot of, you know, regular birds and crows and everything else here. I don't see this place, I don't see nothing here now. So we're gonna make a left and we're gonna make a circle all around, come back out on the main road, going out park. So we from here that way to the right, we always seen. Okay, this is another, uh, this is 10 miles per hour speed limit here. Uh, right here is pretty much uh, traders and boat, uh, boat parking and uh, campers. And not off the lake. I think you got a little piece of water that comes, yeah, you got a little bit of water right here on my left, but not much. We got Leon you know, boat ramps too on most of these properties, most of these spots I'm at. Uh, people build porches off of the campers. So this is yearly. Um, here's a way out to my right, back on the main point, the main road. Right now we're right next to the circle. You see what I'm talking about? It goes all the way around. It's one big circle of uh, uh, too much caverns. Dumpster area. Here's the boat ramp. They got a lot of warnings and signs. This right here, this area right here, a little, little uh, pier dinging. I don't know what you call it. Um, you can go out there and um, too much fish. This goes back out to the main road right here. We can go down this gravel road. Show you some you know, features right here. Um, right here is a lot of fishing. People do here. Like I said, I don't see no geese. Normally the geese flies and blend there. And Unless it's more like a, a fall or a spring, uh, fall, when I most of see them. Oh, there are geese right there. Oh, I actually got geese. Hello. 
it, every animal it, uh, is kind of used to people. If you come across a deer or something, you can get within like a few feet from them and stuff. And you know, as long as you know, they're not, they're not scared of people. This is all caverns right here. Uh, overnights, uh, yearly, monthly, I think. Right here was a big old, this area right here was a big old metal fence around it. That's maintenance. one big circle but right now we're just going around the, uh, this is the center part of it part of it this, like I said this is pretty much ground right here and uh, maintenance It goes that way. It goes that way. Pretty bird. This camera right here is pretty popular for some reason. Here it's a little convenience store. It's kind of overpriced, but they got good pizza. You can also get gas and drinks here and full pay. Got a little gas pump here. They got gas pumps here too. This building right here, that fine looking building, used to be maintenance, but it became a cabin. No, not maintenance, that used to be the main office to check in. Then you can rent this right here, and it has a little big old a uh, grill pit in the center of it. Like big get big get together. All these cabins are pretty nice. This goes all the way back to towards the maintenance. We'll go back um, in the back one of the back roads. The park rangers lives here to the left too, in the maintenance area. Go back down and around the circle. I'll show you what I was talking about. This is the inner part of the circle, what we just look at. And we got a little building in there. It's a maintenance area. They did the bathrooms, they clean the park, and stuff like that. And they do repairs on the cabins and, and construction and ground. Uh, Groundskeeping, yeah, and um, all the groundskeeping. The layout, most of the cabins are similar to each other, by the way. Uh, I've been in a few of them, pretty nice. Not that bad during the summertime. They got air. Most of these have air conditioner. You get in window units. Right here is the is a pretty much swimming area. 
and uh, this building right here is pretty much the boat club, uh, like a boat club, canoe club. This is where the um, OSU team packages the uh, canoe. Straight in front of us, straight in front of us right here, the building off the water. That's the property shack. And you can go in there, it's heated in the winter time and you can see out of the rain. If you want to fish there. It's got like a there's a building there inside, it's got like a um, a hole in the middle, you can fish in that hole. Or you can fish like you know on the outside of it. the outer part of the circle. We can come back to this place later. Actually, we can go ahead and do it now. This right here is ski, ski, part of Ski Point. We jet ski and stuff. This right here, they got like a, a five boats, if I remember, five boats. Go to the main part of the park. Right, yeah. They got dumpsters there too, too. This is your daily area. You can rent these out and have cookouts and stuff. Dumpster. You can only park on the gravel area. Right here. Yeah, you only park in the gravel area. I don't know why my phone messed up on my night. Someone's trying to call me. It's good fishing too. Um, this tent area. It goes all the way around this way in a circle. Pretty much. Hello. Huh? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. About what? About eleven thirty. Yeah, we can do eleven thirty. I see you when I get there. Bye. Bye bye. Dinner, our lunch plans. You used to have a table here. Look it out. You can see the crappie shop and the, the boat and the canoe area. Uh, they got little, uh, what are they called those things? They have a little net right there. It's right over here. I gotta check my GPS connection because they keep on uh, messing up. Keep on restarting. You got a lot, a lot of areas, a lot of parking. You park on this little area, gravel area. And this area got speed up. Has two more in-ground boats here. Like I said, they work as pretty good as a stone shop. It's the this area. This is all coming green poison. It's pretty much all concrete. And it's buried, and part of it's buried on the ground. So it's anchored down. It's not going to go anywhere. So. There's another area. You can rent this area out for barbecue, get together. Germany uh, gathering. Right here, right here is your pretty much your tennis court. I got sand there. These two poles, that's for the tennis that goes. <coughs> but it took it down for some reason.
this is recently added. This area right here we're going into now. The play area. All this was added. You got, you know, you can do stuff. Uh, they got a little, a uh, little, uh, part that goes over these poles, this eating area, so it's covered. Keep you out of the sun and stuff. I uh, got a, like a, a play area. Another in-ground boat. They do an awesome job on the park. This right here wraps around back towards the horse area, I think. No, it goes back around to the main, uh, that's the main. No, it doesn't wrap around. A lot of, yeah, it does. Got a little dirt road here. But, yeah, it has uh, quite a few camping areas. I think this is, no, I don't think it's overnight camping. I think it's just daily activities. It, uh, that was more daily activity. See, we got this awesome little dirt road right here. Let's go back. It goes back this way. To my right is the uh, heating and, and air conditioning, bath and shower, shower and restaurant on it, indoor restroom. Okay, we're going right next to this pretty much another boat dock to my left. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's part of the boat, the canoe area. Right here's the boat dock and the boat ramp. Uh, a lot of parking looks like. Every every area, mostly every area has one of those trash cans right there. I need I think I don't know, I didn't see many of them ordered by that one spot. Yeah, they got canoes and stuff going here now. This is new. I guess it's storage of some type. Good fishing there. That's the whole parking good fishing. Right here is for campers and uh, camping traders. Uh, this little dirt area right here, pretty much a uh, you know, swimming area. You gotta make a. You can also, you know, camp in a tent here too. This is part. Of, this is like overnight, weekend, like type of thing. Because we got a tent up there. You got a lot of. Got a big B area. They're putting up some kind of poles there. Oh, they're working on it. But, you know, this is pretty much wraps around and you got like a quick pop center. Um, driving next to my left is a trash dumpster. It's got a wood uh, picket fence like thing around it. So in this area right here we're looking at now is um, yearly on the lake. I guess they make a lot of money there. But this right here is yeah, pretty much a um, dumpster. 
and this is where we just came from. We didn't go through the center. Um, I'm gonna turn back around. Sorry, this is all yearly right here. We're going into now. Um, once in a while, you can see turkeys out here too in this area. I've seen some turkeys in the past. Another dumpster right here, to my right. We got a little circle here, we gonna go around and back out. Also, bring your boats here. I can't even say. Let's take a look at that. No, that. This is Tim Off Fire area. You can see the little golf parts running around. So you can get direct to the shower and all that good stuff. Have your own little cell like this too, out here. Um, the park by the off uh, the park. Um, I don't think it's I don't think it's Wi-Fi out here, but I think over there by the maintenance they have you know their own little thingy Wi-Fi, but. I think you have to get some like pull value or something out here. If you want cellite. I don't really see any actual cellite um, antennas or uh, Wi Fi and uh, wireless internet. I can, I can find out later if they're off the Wi Fi here. Okay, next we headed back we headed back out where we came in at. There's a little you know boat ramp and all that to my right. Parking for the boat ramp. Blue green trash can. We're heading towards the the in the indoor restroom and shower. It has Male and female uh, restroom. This is towards the maintenance and the uh, cabins. Okay, here's your um, pretty much your shower. First, you're gonna drive around. This way, you empty out your. Um, RVs and traders, campers, whatever. Depends, you know, it's no spot for water and an empty trader. Here's no spot right here. Here's the dumpster. Let's take a look at the men's restaurant. See if it changed any. Like I say, it's a very nice place, park. Some people come here to just take a shower. I guess about them. Okay, I gotta take you along with me, guys. Just have patience. Oh, I, I didn't want to do that. Oh. You hear the birds? Okay, that's women to the left. That's maintenance closet. That's right here. There's no smoking, okay? 
Oh, the air conditioning must be down. It has another bathroom over there by um, the store. Here's the stall. And here's the shower area. You got one, two shower areas. The floor used to be um, gray. It needs to be painted again. You can see that it used to be that color. But yeah, this this is the men's restroom. Similar to the guys, maybe cleaner. Uh, they don't make, they don't tear up stuff like guys do. <laughs> right here is a big lagoon in this fence area. Get my head out. Uh, um, end this tour. Uh, got that dinner date coming up. It's wife. That'd be another video. We're back you know, towards the circle with the uh, uh, overnight camp uh, uh, cabin door. Road, I guess. Oh, I'm just going back to the camp. Um, get to walk the dog out here. Hey, that's doing something. No, we're doing something out here. They start around six o'clock in the morning. Up the horse place. Get the in area. I was gonna give you a tour of the inside of the store and the rest of them over there. It's indoor and uh, shower and bathroom too. Similar to what we looked at a while ago. You can take a warm shower and stuff. Over here to the left, pretty much the fire. Uh, watch thingy. Looks like they didn't change it. Yeah, they're supposed to change it. We're supposed to be like the moderate virus. Sign we're coming up to it on the left that we just now passing. Just put my one the sign that help paint. Let me get in the dark and see if it can fix my. Right here. Um, 
this is 51C, they call it. Hopefully, you can't tell the difference between the water and the, and the road. I apologize about this camera messing up. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and smash that bell so you get the newest notification of this videos and share this out with your friends and family. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.